Hello friends, I Rashri Nagar, Assistant Professor in Biani Group of Colleges welcomes you all on the behalf of GuruKPO.com. Today I am going to deliver my lecture on measures of central tendency. As we all know, the central tendency depends ultimately on the average. The average denotes a representative of all the observation because it is a part of central part of the all observations or all the distribution thereby it is known as the measures of central tendency. Here there are three types of uh, uh, central tendency measures, first is mean, another one is mode and then the median. In this lecture I will discover or I will conclude it all about the observation measures of central tendency of mean. There are various characteristics of the central tendency as it is rigid, it should be rigidly defined it should be cover all the observations, it should easily understood, it should not be affected by the external factors, it is easy to interrupt, it is least affected by the fluctuation of the sampling and it is easy to measure all the mathematical calculations so it is further used for the mathematical calculations. Arithmetic mean is calculated by the summation of all the observation the, which is denoted as the sigma x divided by the number of observation which is denoted by the n and this arithmetic mean is symbolized by the x bar. Uh, whenever uh, some person is come and ask you to calculate the arithmetic mean, so what do you have to know? Firstly, you have to know the type of data and secondly, the method which can be used by you to represent the or to calculate the, this arithmetic mean. First, firstly we know about the data, there is a data which was given by the um, uh, someone to you. There are two types of data, ungrouped data and the group data. In this, the formula for the arithmetic mean is dependent on the data. If the ungrouped data is been calcul ungrouped data is given by the someone to you and you have to calculate the arithmetic mean for this type of data, you should uh, in, uh, you should put the uh, formula as x bar equals to sigma x upon of n. Here the sigma x is equals to x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus xn divided by the number of observation. Same in this group data where the discrete data, <laughs> this group data it can be divided into the two discrete series and the continuous series. In discrete series there are two observations are there, uh, there are two observations, first is variable is given by uh, someone and the frequency is given by the someone and the formula for this x bar goes to sigma fx upon of capital N. Here the capital N is equals to the summation of frequency and the sigma fx is equals to summation of the multiplication of frequency and the variable. Same in the continuous series, formula is sim same but in continuous series there is the class interval and the frequency. So, you have to calculate the mid value of the class interval. Suppose there is a class interval 10 to 20. So, what you have to do? You have to do, uh, you have to do calculate the middle value of this observation or this class interval. How can you calculate? You can calculate this uh, upper limit, uh, sorry lower limit addition of upper limit divided by 2. Here 30 divided by 2 is equals to 15. So, what is your variable? x is equals to 15. So you uh, and this x is uh, this x is multiply by the f and put in this formula sigma f x upon of capital N is equals to x bar. So the methods there are two types of method direct method and the shortcut method. As I discuss as I discuss this type of calculation is created by the direct method and the shortcut method is different from the direct method we can discuss later. We can calculate the uh, arithmetic mean for the ungrouped data by this observation here the roll number and the mark given. So first we should define the type of the data which type of data is ungrouped data. So for that ungrouped data what is the formula x bar is equals to sigma x upon of n. Here the sigma x as we all know the sigma x is equals to addition of the observations like the mark summation 10 plus 20 plus 30 plus 40 plus 50 divided by the number of observation, number of observation is 5. You should directly put the values here or you should draw a table like that. 
serial number or you should uh, uh, say the roll number and the marks obtained. For roll number 1 marks is 10, for roll number 2 marks is 20, for 3, 30, for 4 there is 40 and for 5 there is 50. So you have to calculate, you have to draw this table and you have to calculate the arithmetic mean. How can you calculate? You have this is your x. This is your x, so you should calculate the summation of x. Here the summation of x is equals to 150 and the number of observations small n is equals to 5. So you should directly put in, uh, this values in the formula or you should calculate by this method. Here 150 divided by 5 is equals to 30. So arithmetic mean for the following observation is x bar is equals to 30. Now the arithmetic mean for the group data which includes the discrete series. Here is the observation in which the marks and the number of students are included. Marks is uh, like that 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. This marks is denoted as the x means variable. Here now the number of students for the following observation is 10 uh, frequency is 1, 2, 1, 1 and 1. So we have to calculate the arithmetic mean for the following data. So first we put this following data into the according to the according to the uh, formula we can put uh, all this observation into a table. So we can put uh, we can draw a table by uh, uh, including three way factors x, f and fx. Here x is 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. The following observation 1, 2, 1 and, and 1. For this multiplication of fx is 10, 40, 30, 40 and 50. In the, for this particular data, we have to calculate the arithmetic mean by the summation of multiplication of mx upon of fx upon of n means a multiplication submission of multiplication of frequency and variable upon of number of uh, submission of the frequency. So we can in conclude the frequency submission as 6 and the submission of the multiplication of the frequency and the variable is 170. <coughs> we should put this uh, variables in this formula and we can calculate uh, the arithmetic mean for the following data as 28.3. Now the arithmetic mean for the group data which includes the continuous series. This is your observation or distribution where the class interval x is given and the frequency f is given. So what you have to do? You have to do firstly the mid value. You have to calculate the mid value of this particular class interval. We can draw a table according to this class interval mid value, frequency and the uh, multiplication of frequency and the mid value. So we concluded the uh, mid value according to this 10 plus 20 upon of 2 is equal to 15. So with this uh, uh, we can calculate the following mid value according to this formula. Lower limit plus upper limit divided by 2. So this is the observation we can calculate by putting this formula. Now the frequency is given in this observation and now we can uh, the multiply the mid value into uh, to the frequency. This is the multiplication of the frequency and the mid value. Now the summation of the frequency and the mid value multiplication is 2 to 5 0 and the summation of the sigma f that means the uh, frequency is 50. Now put these two values into the formula as x bar equals to sigma fm upon of sigma f here 2 to 5 0 divided by the 50 and the x bar that means the arithmetic mean for the following distribution is 45. This is all about the direct method of the arithmetic mean. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you, thank you and thank you.